Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we're just going to look at some values that we can plug into our noise. This is uh, this is going to be kind of a weird uh, a weird video because I don't know what numbers to plug in. Uh, you, you just kind of play around with the numbers until until you get what uh, until you, you get the kind of look that you're going for. By the very nature of this system, what I have will be will be different to what you have. Uh, so ultimately, it comes down to um, you understanding the, the way that the data flows through these VOT networks, understanding the different noise algorithms that you've got available to you, and also understanding a little bit of arithmetic when it comes to how we can add and subtract and multiply these values and the results that uh, we're going to get. So ultimately, in this video, there's not going to be much new content other than me just playing around with values trying to find something that works obviously i'll talk you through what i'm doing but have fun play around with these you know play around see what noises you can get what works what doesn't work and i will sort of indicate any um any sort of issues that i have and how to get around them as we as we progress so let's let's continue on so we're here we've got sort of a blob shaped here which isn't really doing anything for anyone um, so i'm going to go back to my unified noise here i'm going to change that over to be a wally noise okay so we're getting something something quite weird like this maybe take the complement of that no let's just tweak our fit range values drop this down a bit okay so we're starting to get starting to get some interesting shapes and remember that we're going to layer this stuff uh, up lots and lots of times so this is kind of step one of four or five all right I'll come back to the noise what I'll do is maybe take the opposite of that so let's see what the complement looks like Okay, so yeah, back to our fit node. We can maybe boost that up a little bit. All right, okay, so this is giving us some interesting sort of rocky shapes. Maybe boost this up a bit. Yeah, and, and can you see all I'm doing is just playing around with the... Um, with the values, uh, there's no real kind of right way to do it. But what I'm looking for is to start introducing some more interesting noisy shapes uh, in there. Uh, and what we can do, once we've got a basic shape like that down, we could introduce some fractal noise as well on the uh, unified noise. So let's see what that does if we drop some standard fractal noise on there. Maybe just increase the roughness a bit. Maybe reduce the roughness a bit. Okay, so yeah, we're getting some interesting shapes. What I'm going to do, just to sort of sh show you where we're at and where we've come from, let me just press U to go up a level. And if we put the display flag on the VDB from polygons above the volume VOP, okay, you'll see the difference that we've got. So this is our starting shape, and this is our first layer of noise here. Okay, so you can see we've we've chipped away at this and we've carved into it and we're starting to build up some interesting shapes. All right, still very crunchy, still super low resolution, but that's kind of how I like to work, just so it's very quick and responsive. Uh, but what we can do is we can, on the VDB from Polygons node, we can say, let's drop this by half again. So we'll go to 0.25 or maybe even... Zero five, and there you go you can start to see with a little bit more resolution how that noise pattern is really starting to affect so that would be um, a good starting point for for our first layer of noise um, and you know there's still a ways to go there's still plenty of things we can do to 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 treat this and get this uh, looking a bit better uh, so one thing that I like to do um, is in between, after we create our volume VOP here, we can put down a VDB smooth, okay, which does exactly what you would imagine it does. It just softens those edges a bit, 
so we can maybe up the iterations to 10 just to smooth off those edges so we don't get any crunchiness uh, so let's just yeah so as you can see there's a big difference there between the very tight edges and so now when we plug this into our volume bop it's just softened those edges ever so slightly and we're starting to get some more interesting shapes as well um, so again this is another thing you could potentially play around with to get something that works for you so I'm going to sort of just dial that in uh, about number four cool and then just to prove how difficult this will be to work with now so we've got quite a quite a detailed volume here we're dealing with uh, six million voxels okay so um, quite quite a dense piece of um, a vo a voxel data there so if we try and change some values here what you might know it's still response still pretty responsive but what you'll find is um, you might have to wait for these things to just process a little bit and you start to lose your your real-time um, representation all right so in this let's just up the frequency of this wally noise a little bit so we'll go two by two by two and that's that's too much so I'm going to drop that back down to one all right so what what we'll say is that's okay for our first layer of noise all right so in the next layer of noise what we're going to do is we're going to add uh, some of these big cracks that we're seeing here these large direction very directional lines that we're seeing in the uh, in the rocks um, and then after that what we'll do is we'll add another layer of noise that takes care of these um, sort of finer iterations of the noise um, okay so before we move on to the next video what I want to show you is how this system will operate so currently we're in a for loop remember so we've got all these pieces and we're processing them individually so currently we've got what six rocks being generated in this for loop but we need to connect up the output here but before I do that what I want to do is the for each loop will merge everything together I don't want that I just want a single pass at a time okay so I'll turn on single pass and then I'll plug in my volume VOP and put the display flag on okay so now we can quickly audition the different rocks by changing this single pass parameter so we know we've got six different rocks if we set that over to one we can very quickly start to audition those shapes and as you can see they're all different but they're all sharing uh, a similar style and a similar noise pattern all right so we, we're getting some interesting shapes that we can work with um, and that's our final one so depending on how many how many pieces you have here that will be how many iterations you have in your loop and you should have that many that many rocks okay so in the next video what we'll do is we'll continue on adding more noise to our to our rocks to start really increasing the detail all right so i'll see you in the next video thanks